Hey, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> this is Rosemary Nani Knight, and this is the Church of RNK. Such a pleasure to be with you again this afternoon. And today we're talking about freedom, we're talking about, um, yeah, some of the things that I consider to be absolutely essential for you to step into freedom. Now I know that everybody is actually born free, but we know that sometimes we don't live free, okay? Because there are certain areas of our life that suddenly struggle to be free, basically. So what we're going to do here, one, I'm going to share this around the world, <laughs> and then I'm going to... Um, really concentrate in, and we're going to sing our affirmation for today. This is the Church of RNK. I'm Rosemary Nani Knight. Yes is amens, absolutely acceptable. In fact, absolutely a must. And yes, we'll get talking um, pretty soon here. Let me just kind of while away some time while some of you come on here, and at the same time, I share it around the place and get people on. How you doing? How you doing? Tell me where you're streaming in from as you come along. That would be absolutely amazing. This is the Church of RNK, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight, and we're going to be talking about freedom, changing lives, owning who you are completely in all areas so that you're able to actually do the work that you're here to do. Because everybody in my community, you, we, all, we all feel a little bit like, you know, there's more, there's more to us, there's more to what we're here to do. We're not just here to, you know, pay bills and then die, basically. We're here for more, and we want it all. We want all of it. We don't want... Half and half of it, we want all of it. So we're willing to do what it takes, yes, to actually create all of it, okay? So I'm just sharing this around the place and then I'll be with you and then we're going to sing our affirmation first and foremost and then go from there. In fact, you know what? That's enough. Okay, so here we go. I am born for more. I am born for more I am born for more I create I receive yeah I am born for more I am born for more I am born for more I create for today and I'd love you to take that on board today for the rest of today just keep repeating to yourself I am born for more I create I receive sing it yeah you know sing it so it gets right into your spirit right there okay I am born for more I create I receive I create the more I receive the more I do what it takes in order to actually step into the more I don't wait for somebody else to come and give me the more because I know I am my savior, right? <laughs> okay, or that you have the power inside of you. And I want to talk about the three or four different things that I particularly think in terms of if you are going to choose freedom. If you are choosing freedom every single day, okay, and it is a choice, okay, sometimes we, we kind of, we take it for granted that just because we're born free, just because it's supposed to be our birthright, abundance is our birthright, freedom is our birthright, because because we're born into it, we assume that it's just going to come without any effort on our part. And, okay, in a perfect, ideal situation, yes, it should do. But it's not always perfect or ideal for most of us. Most of us have gone through some kinds of stories, some kind of who knows what, that has caused you to live less than who you are. Now, you may, you may be quite successful, you know? I was a pharmacist. I had, on the face of it, what seemed everybody, you know, for the average person, I was doing really well. But I knew I was born for more. I knew that there was more to my life, okay? As well as the fact that I knew also um, the, the, the things that people didn't see. <laughs> 
I knew the things people didn't see and I knew I wasn't living to the fullness of my potential, okay? And, and there was a hunger inside of me to, to live out loud, to be the leader that I knew that I was born to be. Not someone that just talked about all the stuff that I wanted to do to change lives, to help people, to help myself, to help mother, my family. I didn't want to be someone that just talked. I wanted to be someone who did. Now it took me, for me, and it doesn't have to be the same for you. For me, it took me hitting rock bottom. It took me going bankrupt. It took me getting depressed. It took the four years of feeling like I have no idea who I am. I feel dead inside, basically. I, it, it took four years of that for me to finally realize realized that I had to take responsibility for creating the life that I wanted to live and receiving everything that is mine anyway, okay? But you know, as I said, we, life happens. You get stifled. You, get, you start to think that that, that, um, that place of being stifled is the norm for you and that that's the way it has to be until either the universe kicks you awake or you come onto something like this and I tell you no. It doesn't have to be that way. You can actually go for the more. You don't have to be, you don't have to downplay yourself. You don't have to just settle for what seems to be success. When you know inside of you that you're hungry, horny for more, okay? So in which case, why settle for any less than everything? You can choose freedom to go after every single thing that you desire. You can change other people's lives. You can change your own first, you know? <laughs> and you can own your power every single day. Now, there are certain things that, if you came to work with me, and when I'm working with clients, this is the stuff that I talk about with them all the time, because I think, yes, first and foremost, I want, I want everyone to be making money doing what they love, okay? That's absolutely, it's critical. It's absolutely critical. It's really difficult for you to focus on doing anything more if you can't pay your bills, <laughs> okay? Now, especially, and if you are, you're, you've already created a successful-ish life doing something that is okay to you, but you also know that you want more, either more in what you're doing currently or more in terms of um, you're completely transitioning into something else altogether. Maybe the job that you're doing right now, it's not actually that pleasurable to you, and so you want something completely more, or it could be something else, whatever. If you're here, you're a purpose-driven person, you know that, there is more to you and you want the more. You get worried about the more, but you want it, okay? And that's for me, when I'm working with clients, and when I'm even this is, this is a system I took through with myself, and then I started working with clients and helped them also to use it to get the results that they want, okay? Now, the first thing is, yeah, you need strategy, right? You need a business strategy to move yourself forward. When I was moving out of pharmacy into, uh, I started with property business, um, a real estate business, in order to get me customers, clients recruit, well, no, for me to get customers, for me to get tenants and also landlords to work with, um, I had to do certain things in order to actually get them on my books. And so there is, and for most, for all businesses, there are certain things you need to do. I call them the three C's. Now, the, how, how it works out in your particular situation may be different, okay? The three C's very quickly are that you need to be communicating with people on a regular basis so that they know you exist, they know what you're about, they know how you can help them. Number two, you need to be capturing them into your world so you're following up with them because the fact that you told them the first time doesn't mean that they're going to remember you the next time. And number three is that you're closing, you're actually getting people to put their money down or to do whatever it is that you want them to do in order to move forward and this works for for ministries and everything anyway because if you're not communicating people people don't know who you are if you're not for if you've not captured them into your world you can't follow up with them so people will get distracted and forget you and if you're not closing any sales you'll be out of business before you know it <laughs> and even if it's a complete char charity you need all of this now that that strategy it's kind of straightforward it's kind of this is what you need to do in order to actually achieve financial independence achieve financial freedom it's straightforward yeah for each individual person the nitty-gritty might be slightly slightly different but generally it's going to be the same thing that and to me that's one of the foundational things you want to be in a position where you're creating wealth easily enough doing what you would like to do however in order for you to do those three c's there are other things that start to play up in order for you to choose freedom every single day and to turn up in the marketplace changing people's lives, there are other factors that will stop you and it will not be the strategy. I started with strategy because for a lot of people, they think it is the strategy that they need. And yeah, you need strategy. You need to know what to do. 
but is it really the thing that is stopping you from going full out after all your more whatever your more looks like is it really really if you're really honest with yourself is it the thing that is stopping you? My poor guitar. Is it the thing that is stopping you from doing what you're here to do? Okay, before we carry on, I'm going to sing the affirmation again because some of y'all are different. Tell me where you're streaming in from. Don't just listen in and be active. Tell me who you're where you're streaming in from. Who are you? <laughs> who are you and where you're streaming in from? I am born for more. I am born for more. I receive that's our affirmation for today so yes I'm giving you like strategy that strategy okay yes it can get a little bit more complicated than that but mostly that strategy okay if you want to go deeper into that you come and join me in the Delbert Millionaire Fast Track Club I have all the material to help you go as deep as you need to for your specific concerns okay to move your business forward your ministry forward whatever come into the Delbert Millionaire Fast Track Club but let's talk about other things that stop you from choosing freedom every single day from changing lives every single day even though there's a part of you that really does want to be that leader that shows up every single day changing people's lives doing the work that you know you are born to do whether it's products or services or art or music or books or whatever there are other factors that stop you from doing the thing that you're here to do number two thing that you need to consider is this your spirituality you are a spirit driven person if you're in my community the chances are that you have some kind of spiritual leanings you feel the intuition inside of you you want to be led by intuition you want to be led by spirit you want to be connected to what feels like the I don't know, the power all around you, you know there's something more, and yet, some of you all, just like me, you know, you come from a religious background, and sometimes that gets really, really all mixed up about the rules and what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do, and then you're not sure if you're allowed to go out and go and do, you know, create m money doing the stuff that you love to do, and so all of that kind of stuff starts to make you wonder, does God like me, does the Spirit like me, I don't know if I can, can I speak to source, I don't know, and there's all of this stuff that you need to settle in your mind in some way you need to get clear around because some of the stuff that you're going to do to build your business it's not necessarily things that are usual in a religious circle okay religion in some ways hello Christina lovely to have you here how are you doing my honey I know you're in the DM but it's lovely to see you on here okay so but yes so you're you, you want to be connected to to me for me every single thing that I do is, is, is it to me comes from spirit. I am, I consider myself to be completely spirit led. I have an intimate connection with source and actually got more intimate when I started saying, uh, I'm not obeying the rules any longer. <laughs> Uh, any rule or any law or any this is what you're supposed to do that some person tells me from the front suddenly had to be scrutinized okay oh, I'm glad you're doing really well Christina excellent 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 stuff guys tell me where you're streaming in from it would be really really cool to to hear from you guys as well okay but this is it I learned that just because someone said this is the interpretation of my holy book or just because this is that and the other and this is what we've always done doesn't mean that I have to keep doing it and in fact it wasn't until I first and foremost realized that spirit was completely for me God Papa I call him Papa okay and for me Papa was completely for me he saw my dark places he saw my light places he loved me completely I didn't need to obey rules that other people had externally told or imposed upon me I could question things yes in the end I might decide that I want to go ahead with it but it will be from a place of deliberate decision okay now as for me as a spirit driven person hello wherever you are for me as a spirit driven person it was critically important that if I'm going to move forward and build a business that 
that makes me come alive, I need to feel as if I am, I'm, I'm on the right side of spirit, <laughs> okay? And if I felt that I was on the wrong side of Papa or spirit, okay, for me, I call him Papa, okay? So I'm going to just use Papa right now. Now, you guys can put it in your spirit or intuition or whatever it is that your higher power, I don't know, whatever is good for you. But for me, I needed to feel that I was on the right side of Papa, but there were so many rules and regulations around it that made, that stifled my ability to do the work that I'm here to do. And for a lot of you, that will be the case as well. You are holding yourself back because you're not sure that it is right that you go full pelt after building a business that changes other people's lives and makes you a heck of a lot of money. And because you're not questioning it, because you've been, I mean, even since birth, you've been told that this is the way you are supposed to think. Much love to whoever you are. Tell me who you are because I can see your hearts, but I don't know who you are. So, <laughs> so you, because you've been told that this is the way to think, you are struggling to let go of that old way of looking at life so that you can step into freedom, freedom, spiritual freedom, and have an actual close relationship directly with Papa, rather than a, oh, well, I'm going through this middle person, and I'm going through that middle person, and this person interpreted everything for me. I'm not saying that we want to completely disregard all of our leaders or spiritual gurus or whatever. No, I'm not saying that, but I am saying you want to question stuff for your own freedom, <laughs> okay? For your own freedom so that you can start to do the strategy that I mentioned already because if you have all of this stuff blocking you, you will not be able to do the stuff on a consistent basis to get the results that you want. And also you'll be waiting for, you'll be thinking that you're, 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 that there's something wrong with, with you because you're not getting results. But no, it's because you're not quite being in the marketplace as fully as you could be because you're not sure if you're allowed because you haven't questioned some of the laws and the rules that you are believing. So I'm saying to you, you need spiritual freedom. We, and for us, we want to be connected. We want to be connected to source. We want to be connect I want to be connected to my papa all the time. I want to know that whenever I have a question, I can just ask and I know that the answer is coming through and that is what happens. But it took some doing to get there because I finally had to realize that just because somebody had said that this is the way it has to be, doesn't mean that it is the way it has to be, okay? I can find out for myself. I can actually have that which I, I'm pointing there, but really it's more of an internal thing, isn't it? Actually, although God is everywhere, God is inside as well. So this is it, guys. You need spiritual freedom. How free do you feel? How free do you feel? Okay? Because for me, if you'd asked me this question maybe 15 to 10 years ago, I would have, I would have just said the party line. Oh, no, I'm free. Oh, yeah, Jesus saved me. And this and that and the other. And Jesus did save me, for sure. However... I wasn't living saved. I wasn't living as, you know, the same power that conquered the grave lived in me. I wasn't living as someone who believed that I was connected and loved by the ultimate power, okay? Now, I know that we all have different belief systems around different things, but we're all spiritual people, right? Okay, so we can find some similarities and we can find a way to, to work to, to, you know, to, for you to resonate with what I'm saying here, if you are that spiritual person, and if you're not, why are you here? <laughs> Basically, so, how free are you? Don't give me the party line, don't give yourself the party line, because if you're not honest with yourself, how are you going to be free? Be honest with yourself, and I know it's scary sometimes to be honest, especially if you've believed a certain brand of religion for so long that you don't even know how to break free from it. I am born for more I am born for more I am born for more I create, I create I receive and again, yeah I am born for more I am born for more I am born for more I can hear I receive I'm born for more I create, I receive That's our affirmation for today So that's spirit 
Another thing to consider that will get in the way of you moving forward. <laughs> I need to get out of the caring industry. I could have been in Dubai today. I'm born for more than this. Absolutely, my honey. So, well, let's get moving forward. Powerfully. <laughs> okay. Number two thing, or number three thing that will get in the way of you choosing freedom every single day, changing lives every single day, because the more, pe the more people you serve, the more money you make, okay? To get to Dubai, we've got to serve more people, <laughs> okay? And uh, what else? And the other thing about owning your power every single day and that will enable you to actually talk to to implement the strategy that I mentioned at the beginning of this um, stream is self-love. OK, you need to love yourself. So, yes, you've you figure if you start to figure out stuff that is happening with spirit, with that internal intuition and for me, Papa. Um, next thing you need to figure out is what is it about yourself that you're not quite liking? Maybe you're worried about your sexuality because that's another big area where if you have been a religious person, there is for whatever reason a desire to, to control that area of your life. And if you, again, you haven't questioned it, you haven't wondered why on earth, why on earth anybody has any concern about uh, legislating what you're allowed to do in your private life, basically, if you haven't questioned it because you've been born into thinking that this is an area that is supposed to be legislated outside of you, then you won't even think to question it. And I say, question that stuff. Why? One of the reasons why your sexuality sometimes comes under an incredible attack, and you may not see it as attack, actually, but one of the reasons why sexuality comes under attack is because if someone can control your sexuality and your sexual drive, they can control you, okay? It's just the same as with an animal. You get, have a pet come in. If they can, you, you have a dog, you cut off their bits so that they're not going around. So you can control them more. That's why, okay? And I know I don't want to compare us to dogs, but then at the same time, it's the same kind of principle. If you can control somebody's sexual drive, you can almost control them. You can almost make them do the things that you want them to do because the sexual drive is a very powerful drive, okay? And if you are someone who wants to impact the world, if you are someone who wants to change lives, no matter how many lives you want to change, if you are someone that wants to create a heck of a lot of wealth, you need access to your sexual energy. And if for whatever reason you're feeling shameful about it or you're feeling that you need to dampen it all down, that is definitely not self-love. You need to be able to look at yourself and feel love for every part of you. And it may be an ongoing you know, development or whatever, but you, how do I explain it? But yes, you, you have to actually think about this stuff because if there is guilt or shame around the hidden places inside of you or the hidden energies that are actually naturally a part of you, if there is shame or guilt around it, it's almost like you're hating yourself. Then why would you allow yourself to actually uh, prosper? Why would you allow yourself to prosper if you think there is something inherently wrong with you? But there isn't. But it's just like you've been taught that there is. Okay. You need to learn to love yourself, every part of you, including your sexuality, as well as just loving who you are, loving your personality, loving who you are right now. Yes, you may want to change some parts of you. Yes, you may want to expand, but you can still love who you are right now so that you can do the work that you're here to do. Why would you reward someone you don't actually like very much? Why would you be consistent with doing the work that will get you a great result if you don't feel you're worth it? Because you feel you've made, you, you, you're, there's something wrong with you, because you, that's one side of it. But the other side of your, the whole sexuality side of things is this, that your sexuality actually leads to the birthing of new ideas. It's your creativity. A lot of it comes from that place. And if you are busy stifling it and busy, instead of actually handling certain areas that you think you shouldn't even be looking at, if you are busy using all your energy to stifle a power that you cannot completely shut down, okay? It takes a heck of a lot of energy to shut down your sexual energy, okay? And if you're spending a lot of energy because you feel guilty and shameful around you, you're supposed to control it. And I'm not saying that we want to be running around, sleeping around like animals. We're not animals, okay? We can't be thoughtful about it. But there needs not be any shame around your body functions. You don't get shameful about your nose and the sense of smell, do you? So don't get ashamed about your sexual energy, okay? And I, I talk specifically to people who are, have come from a religious background because that will, for most people, it's a bit stifled, okay? It's a bit stifled and your creativity comes out of that. Sometimes people say they can't come up with new ideas. They're not, and I want, and I, well, if you're a client, I would ask you directly, actually, how much sex are you having? Uh, are you having any? <laughs> 
because if you're not released in that area, I'm not surprised you have no ideas coming to come up with. Uh, basically, you can't come up with ideas anymore. You don't feel charismatic. You don't feel confident because you've stifled that area of your life. It's time to start loving yourself again. It's start, time to start owning every part of you. All of these parts, everything I've mentioned so far is part of your power. And when you give it away because somebody told you that you're supposed to feel guilty or ashamed about it, that sometimes it's the guilt and the shame that is killing you more than the actual thing itself. Even if you did do something, that you made some kind of mistake or whatever, you know what? It's the guilt and shame that kills you more than the actual mistake. <laughs> And it's like, it's time for you to be free and to start loving yourself again. Whatever it is that you feel you did wrong, it's not helping you to dwell on it and, and, and make it be the thing that, you know, it's, it's, it's stifling your energy, okay? It's stifling your power. You will not be able to do the work that you're here to do because you are being stifled. Let's sing this affirmation one more time. Or, oh, well, again. <laughs> I am born for more. I am born for more, I am born for more, I create, I receive you, I am born for more, I am born for more, I am born for more, I create, I receive you. Creating becomes almost impossible if your sexual drive is stifled, okay? If, it's a, if you're feeling shameful or guilty around that area of your life, it will be a struggle to be a creative, spirit-driven, entrepreneurial leader, okay? So it needs to be handled. It needs to be sorted. You need to recognize that your sexual drive was not given to you by mistake. It wasn't some kind of, oh, 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 let me just give you this horrible thing over here just so you can have some babies or something. No, it wasn't, okay? And I've been, I've been a member of a church where it's almost like that's the way it felt. That you should, oh my God, just hide away from it. <laughs> or even a culture, part of family cultural thing, you don't talk about that stuff. It's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something, and anything in the dark suddenly gets worse, man. It gets worse than it is. Shine a light on all of you. Love who you are. Be your most charismatic, creative self, <laughs> okay? By letting go of the guilt, the shame around your sexuality, around your body, around who you are. Love you, man. All of you. <laughs> love all of you, okay? Look yourself in the mirror and think, you know what? I love me. <laughs> okay, okay, what you look like. Love you. Or me. <laughs> the third thing I wanted to mention here was, you know, letting go of the past, letting go of your story. Some parts of your story are absolutely amazing and they are exactly, in fact, you know, all of your story and there's nothing about, nothing that has happened to you is a mistake. Start to see your life that way, okay? Because if you continue to think that some of the bad stuff that has happened or what you consider to be bad at this time has happened. If you start, if you continue to think that, then you are a victim of it. And honey, victims do not win. Okay. Now I was a victim for a very long time, very long time. I felt like, Oh, my dad had this accident that broke his back and his spinal cord. And we could have been rich if that hadn't happened. Um, and Oh my gosh, my mom did this. And my dad did the other thing. And my uncles did something. And my aunties did so. And then that friend did the other thing. And you know what? Yeah, they did. Maybe they did. Okay. But for most people, they're doing the best they can, one. <laughs> and also, whilst I held on to the story, whilst that story became practically part of my identity, I was chained to that past and not in an empowering way. Your story can be a source of empowerment or it can be a source of disempowerment. And I, for me, for a long time, it was a source of disempowerment. How dare they do this to me? They're trying to manipulate me into this. And then, and then. All of this, can you hear? It's almost like I was saying to myself, I had no control. These people all had the power over me. And you know what? It's okay when you're, you know, six or seven or 10 or, you know, 12. 
But it's a different thing when you're 25 or 35 or 45 or 55 and you're still saying, they did this to me and the other person did the other thing to me. And I'm not saying that people don't do some horrible stuff. Sometimes people do horrible stuff, but does it benefit you to hold on to that stuff? There you are wanting to, you know, live a life of purpose and meaning. You want to change lives and make money doing what you love. You want to wake up in the morning feeling all fulfilled and, you know, you know that you're free to be anywhere, to make money anyhow, all that stuff. You want that stuff, but whilst you are holding on to your sad story of the past, it's almost impossible because victims never win. You can only go so far and then you'll find that you hit a ceiling and you can't seem to get past it. And some of it is because you need to release some of these stories. You need to realize as well. And this is, to me, this is a, like a new revelation. It's something I, re I, I read about a year ago, two years ago. And so for you, you might hear it now, but it will take a year or two for you to really understand what I'm saying here that actually there is nothing for you to forgive anyone for. And do you know why? The reason why there is nothing for you to forgive anyone for is because every single thing that happened to you, every single person that happened to you has made you the powerful person you are today. It was all part of a master plan to make you big, strong, and able to live the life you were born to live. And if you start to see things that way, honey, you'll suddenly realize, I don't even need to forgive these people because you know what? I'm an incredibly strong person. And it is because I went through this stuff and I stood through this stuff. Okay, they need to deal with their own shit, whatever, love to them. But you know what? For me, it is a blessing that I'm still standing despite all of this stuff. I am just powerful. So thank you. <laughs> thank you that this stuff happened to me because that is why I'm this strong right now. It's like, I look at myself, you know, we talked about self-love just a second ago, but it's like, I look at myself and it's like, you know what? I am so strong because I am, st I'm st I am standing. I stood through the crazy. I am strong. And that is what you need to be able to say about yourself because honey, nothing happened by mistake. It happened to strengthen you, to make you strong. So there is nothing to forgive. In some ways, forgiveness, even the fact that you have to forgive someone, it's almost like they, you, you are a victim of them. No! I'm not saying you shouldn't, okay? It's just for most of us, we're still at the place where, or most of you, you might still be at the place where it's like, I need to forgive you. That's fine. But at some point, you will get to the place where you realize that everything happened to strengthen you. Everything happened to give you the big, amazing life that you are born for. Honey. So now we just need to let all of that stuff go because we are born for more. Let it go and be thankful even that this stuff happened. It's like, oh my gosh, if it hadn't happened, how weak would I be? But it happened. I came through. I stood. I am powerful, man. I own my power every day. Woo! <laughs> and that can be your story as well, honeys. Because... Nothing happened by mistake. Nothing is wasted. There's nothing about your life that is wasted. Nothing. And you know what? The thing that comes up in mind here is when people say, oh, you know what? But what? I was raped or I was this or I was the other. And those things are terrible. But it still doesn't serve us to hold on and say, how dare someone do this to me? Because then they keep doing it to you. Every time you bring it to mind, they're doing it to you again. They're doing it to you again and again. The releasing of them is not for their benefit, it is for yours, okay? I know you've probably heard that before, but I tell you again. Why? Because you are here and you are born for more. You are born to impact a lot more people, to create a heck of a lot of wealth, to travel wherever you want to travel, just like Christina here wants to go off to Dubai. You are born to do whatever it is that pops into your brain to do, okay? <laughs> Anything that keeps nagging at you that this is, I want this to be part of my life, then it is yours if you will create and you will receive. Okay? I started this stream by telling you all about the strategy, the business strategies, which, okay, for each individual business owner or entrepreneur, there'll be little differences, but really there's the three C's. Listen at the beginning if you want to. But the th thing that will get in the way of you doing those three C's are the things that I've just talked about. 
What are you feeling in your spirituality? What are you feeling when it comes to your self-love? Are you loving yourself? And when it comes to your past, your past story, your relationships as well are another thing, okay? Your past story, your relationships are all involved in that. How is all of that stuff? Because if you're not free in these areas, it will be a struggle to do the strategy of building your business, to actually implement the strategy. Because people start, they stop, they start, they stop, they start, they stop, because there's all of this stuff that they're not wanting to face. Then you go and work with a business coach, they give you a strategy, do this, A plus B plus C, and then it somehow doesn't work for you because you can't, you can't see him to just make it work. Why? Because there's all of this other stuff. You need to be free in all of you. You need to be clear. It is action and clarity that lead to you winning. Honeys, are you ready to win? So I bring this to a close right now. One, I'll, just, I'll do that at the end. But as I bring this to a close, let me invite some of you to a clarity day with me. This is a live, in-person thing. And I kind of don't care where you are on the planet. As long as, yeah, I don't care where you are on the planet, actually. <laughs> we, I can do a live, in-person clarity day with you. Now, I call it a clarity day, but honey, I don't do anything without telling you the actions you need to take. So you will leave that day, one, clear in all the different areas of your self <laughs> so that you are able to then actually take the action plan that we put together for you and your business or ministry or how to get your art out there or your music or your books or whatever it is out there um, you want to get out into the planet okay or into the marketplace so we'll start by getting clear hello Catherine how you doing honey <laughs> lovely to have you here so we'll start by getting you clear, okay? Getting you clear on the inside, the stuff that we've talked about here, as well as anything that comes up for you. Because even as you're listening to me, there might have been a particular situation that you find so hard to get rid of, and you kind of know it's getting in the way of you living the life that you're born to live, okay? So we'll sort that out. We'll spend one day together. One day together, we'll have lunch together. We might even have dinner together, basically, where we'll just kind of really dig deep into what is causing all of this, this lack of clarity, this feeling of of being stuck, this inability to move forward, we'll look into it, handle it, okay, handle your stuff, and then we'll also make sure you, you leave with a plan of attack to actually start doing the work that you know you're born to do, okay, because I'm, as much as I love to help people get clear, I like it to be attached to a purpose, okay, I like it to be attached to something that you're trying to do, which is why I work with entrepreneurial leaders, either people that are about to start a business or are already in business and they're looking to level it up. So, it's, but then at the same time, I know that for you to start doing the work that you're here to do on the planet, you need to be free in a lot of areas. You need to be free and clear, okay? Which is why I call it a clarity day, a deliberate millionaire of clarity day, where we spend a day together, actually in the flesh, ha handling this stuff, okay? And then you leave with a plan of attack moving forward, free and clear, able to actually implement the plan. Does that sound attractive to you? It should do. <laughs> And if it does, then you need to send me through a private message. When you send me through a private message, I will have a conversation around, well, we'll have a back and forth about how we can make it happen for you, or if it's even necessary for you. It might be that you just need a, 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 a shorter period of time just to really ha hack something out in particular. But as we have that conversation back and forth over, over a messenger, then we will figure out what is best next step for you, okay? So if you want to find out more about the DM Clarity Day, send me through a private message, okay? Send me a private message and I will get back in touch with you and figure out how to get to wherever you are, okay? And we'll have this day together and hash this stuff out. Let's get you free and clear, honeys. The world is waiting for leaders like you and I to wake up to the fullness of our potential so that we can start to make a difference. We can start to make a difference and in the process of making a difference to ourselves, to our, our communities, we create money, you make money. You make money making a difference. The more people you serve, the more money you make. But in order for you to get to that place, you need to be free and clear inside of you, okay? So right now you can send me through a private message asking about the DM Clarity Day, and then we can get that stuff sorted, okay? Okay, so our affirmation to bring the Church of RNK today to a close is, mm -hmm. I've forgotten it. <laughs> I am born for more. I am born for more. I am born for more. I create. I receive and again, yeah. I am born for more. I am. 
investment in the DM club in the next week. Okay, that'll be great, I think. Okay. <laughs> Had to clear some other things first. Love the affirmations. Can't wait to go over your live recordings. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so, it'd be lovely to have you, I think. <laughs> I shall have a, we shall have a chat anyway. Um, guys, yeah, it'd be great to speak with you. And yeah, get in touch if you would decide that you want to do the DM Clarity Day with me. It is time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you're born to live because you absolutely want to. Until the next time, much love. Bye.